Welcome back to the WAC Podcast. We're now joined by UTA women's volleyball head coach, JT Wenger. Welcome to the show, coach, and I uh, want to congratulate you on your big milestone that you hit on September 14th, Cat being 100 wins. What was that moment as you kind of achieved that, that big milestone? Yeah, it was a fun experience. Uh, we had a great crowd in College Park Center, a big win over a local rival, so uh, definitely a special experience. And when you look at this season, you guys are 11 and two on a five game win streak, four of those coming in sweeps. What has been clicking with this group as you guys get ready to gear up for conference play? Yeah, we have a very veteran group uh, for the first time in a while, um, and they they know what needs to be done. They come in, they work hard and um, they follow game plans very well and they're executing at a high level. WAC play starts for you guys this Thursday. You're hosting UTRGV. What has been kind of the the conversation, the practice leading up to to this first conference matchup? Because everything you do before doesn't necessarily matter if you can't close it out during this very important conference play stretch. Yep, all the cliches apply. Um, New chapter, new book, new story. uh, It all gets wiped clean. So um, those are utilized uh, as every program does every year. Uh, but it's true, you know, it, it's a new, new beginning and uh, we got to build off of what we've been working on uh, practices uh, will have been and continue to be um, very effective and, and meaningful and we'll keep developing. You got the Brianna attack, Brianna Ford, Brianna Brown, both seniors that have just been leading the team in kills so far this season. How impactful have those two veteran presence been for this squad? Yeah, you got to be careful because you can't call them both the same name. There's Brianna and Brianna. You got to be uh, very specific about these things. Um, but yes, they're they're again talking about the veteran group. Um, you know, they're they're coming in very very deliberate in what they're doing. Um, both are dedicated to their craft. Both are improving. Um, you know, and that stuff doesn't happen by accident. Uh, and yeah, very versatile players. Both have developed a ton um, over the years, and even in the last couple months, there's a lot of growth. Uh, it's been very exciting. Molly Blank, your setter, she had a, a career high of 52 assists over this past weekend and continues to really facilitate this offense. What has impressed you most about the way that she's able to, to run the offense um, in the way that's necessary to get some of these big time wins? Yeah, she's got some nice tools around her and she's really figuring out how to how to utilize them, uh, how to put everybody in good situations and, and make the most. So I, I think, you know, one part about her, her demeanor, um, she's, she's very cool under pressure, and that's, I think, helped um, lead this program into a good couple of weeks. What has been key for this group compared to maybe last year? I know you said it's a veteran presence here, but what has really helped turn the page and make this team 11-2 and two on that five-game win streak going red hot as you head to conference play? I think in years past, we've uh, been kind of content going to four sets, going to five sets, kind of feeling it out and seeing how it goes. Whereas this year, I think it's been a little bit more, we've been a little bit more diligent in um, making the most of the opportunities that we have. And if we can close out a set or even if we're behind, being able to to come back even in the 20s to to really put some pressure on to win that set um, and help, you know, help the team kind of get out of there in a hurry. So uh, I think that that motivation, that, that drive is, is kind of, I think, made this year a little bit different than some previous seasons. Now, I know that everything, you know, winning these five games, everything is looks perfect on the outside, but of course there's always things from a coach's perspective to clean up. So as you head to this conference stretch, what's going to, what's the biggest focus on an area of improvement that this team needs to work on, or just a little cleanup here and there to, to be able to be the best that you guys can be this year. Yeah, that's the Hugh McCutcheon quote that uh, we all live as as coaches. We live in a perpetual state of disappointment. Um, yeah, you know, I, I think that uh, our serving pass game has come and gone, especially the serving piece. We we had a little lapse a couple of weeks ago that was better this past weekend, but more opportunity. Um, you know, I think our block we've been blocking well, but we're not blocking a lot of balls. Um, so I think that's some a place that we can work a little bit harder on. Um, and defensively, same thing. We're we're, we're high number of digs, but can we tune those up a little bit to put us in better situations? So. Again, a lot of the old cliches apply, but, uh, you know, that's kind of what the game's about sometimes. <laughs> Looking at your schedule thus far, you've had two UTA kind of tournaments, UTA individual, the UTA classic earlier in the year. What kind of opportunity did that provide to, to bring a lot of teams 
to College Park Center and showcase that facility and also really hone in on that home court advantage? Yeah, you said it right. We're very fortunate to have a fantastic facility. Um, you know, another kind of interesting um, element to, to being at UTA, there's so many uh, volleyball players that come out of this region where there are lots of schools across the country that have somebody from DFW. So filling our tournaments is, is always relatively easy. Um, and yeah, getting to play matches in front of our home crowd, um, I think for our three uh, three evening matches, we've had over a thousand people in the College Park Center supporting us, which is fantastic. Um, that's, you know, kudos to our marketing crew who are putting that together. Um, and we're giving them something to watch. We're giving them something exciting to see. So we're hoping to build off that momentum as we move forward. Looking at your coaching career, seventh year as head coach at UTA, you, you've had Power 5 coaching experience. You played at UCLA where you won a national championship. It really seems like you know the, the formula for winning. How have you been able to utilize some of those experiences to come into UTA and have the success that you've had with this with multiple teams? Yeah, everywhere is different. Uh, the recipe is different everywhere, for sure. Um, I think the the draw from UCLA, the, the part that is part of my fabric now, is just that competition brings out the best in people, um, brings out the, the, the competitive spirit is, is kind of what needs to be the driver of a program. Um, and that's something that we talk about a little bit uh, very openly, actually. Um, you know, as coaches, we're rooting for every athlete. At the end of the day, we can only put six um, inside the lines at a time. Uh, but we want everybody to be playing their best and, you know, the rising tide lifts all boats and we keep, keep working hard to keep elevating the program. Well, coach want to wish you good luck this weekend, this Thursday, UTA takes on UTRGV, the first conference matchup on ESPN plus as UTA head coach JT Wenger here on the WAC podcast. I want to thank you for listening to the WAC podcast. Thank you.